you. This is ad liberation, but they're not going to perform for you yet. Nope. I just called them up here because, you know, whatever. Uh, we actually have a very special guest tonight. Uh, her name is Abby Chu. She's a comedian in West Lafayette. Uh, really, really funny lady. So, uh, if you could put your hands together again and introduce the lovely Abby Chu. Great booping. Good job, boops. Uh, so I'm Abby Chu. I am from Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, but not originally. I'm from Newcastle, Indiana. Anybody know Newcastle? Just the beer. Just the beer. <laughs> Keep it that way. <laughs> Fortunately, Newcastle, if you know anything about Newcastle, it probably has to do with basketball. Because uh, we were voted by USA Today as the best place to watch a high school basketball game. True story. <laughs> it's real. Uh, mostly because we have the world's largest and finest high school field house. And if you don't believe us, we have a banner to prove it. So, uh, just because the banner that said, largest source of Oxycontin overdose in teen pregnancy, just was like, not as impressive <laughs> in most circles. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Newcastle. I'm a writer and a performer. Uh, I also just recently got this new gig as an administrative assistant. Uh, yeah. 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 It's a fancy job. Uh, actually, it's just like the new way to say secretary, uh, which when I found that out, I was so excited about. I'm like way cut out for that job. I mean, I watch a ton of Mad Men, so I knew exactly what to do. Uh, came in with my typewriter and thigh highs. <laughs> totally drunk. <laughs> But it turns out uh, thigh highs aren't in fashion anymore, so it didn't work out. Um, I am not a feminist. Uh, anybody in here a feminist? You are? <sighs> Just kidding. I'm not a feminist. I like you feminists, but I'm not one because I actually love when a guy tells me like that he likes to keep his women in the kitchen where they belong. It's my favorite thing. Because uh, it tells me a lot about that guy. One, he's incurably single. Um, <laughs> two, he keeps his porn by the microwave. <laughs> Which, when I thought about it, was like really smart because that way he can like rub one out while he's waiting for his pizza pockets to heat up. You know? And still like have like an entire minute and a half to uh, <laughs> stretch before that, you know, 14 hour shift on World of Warcraft. So, Garden the Castle has a gnome. Uh, I can't be mad at you guys, wherever you are. I can't be mad at you. Because it'd be hypocritical of me, because I would like to keep you where you belong, uh, in your parents' basement. <laughs> that way you have absolutely no chance of procreating and filling the world with more of your kind. <laughs> As if you needed help there. <laughs> I mean, your massive Star Wars collection is just doing that job for me. <laughs> oh, there's too many of you in here for that joke. <laughs> uh, I also uh, am, have one great love of my life, is television. <laughs> Anybody with me? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. None of that serious stuff. Mostly reality TV. Uh, I love toddlers and tiaras. Love. I also like um, Cupcake Wars is a new one. It's not interesting. I just watch all of them. <laughs> but uh, I also really like, uh, my friends um, were just on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Did you guys watch the Thanksgiving episode with the Watsons? No. My friends are famous, you should watch that show. <laughs> it's actually my favorite reality show because like, I know it's so corny and terrible and worse and worse, you know, now that it's been on for like 45 years. But the show gets me every time because, you know, they've always got like Timmy and his parents who are all allergic to the smell of their own hair. <laughs> you know, and with, within minutes, I'm just like crying with them all tragic, like their hair is always around. <laughs> it's really hard. 
And then they won't move the bus. And you're like, just move the bus. <laughs> They've been through so much with their hair. <laughs> uh, do any of you uh, have the Facebook? Have the Facebooks? Yeah. Have the Facebookers? <laughs> Who here does not have a Facebook? Good job, guys. I do. Uh, who here wishes their mom didn't have a Facebook? There we go. Watch them. Watch them. Uh, I actually wish I could get rid of my Facebook, but I can't, even though I'm pretty sure it's some sort of a government tracking conspiracy. Um, because it's like, how else am I going to cyber stalk my ex boyfriends? Or keep tabs on how fat all the cheerleaders from high school are getting? And how many of their kids turned out ugly? <laughs> so, really important stuff. But uh, I like Twitter better. Twitter is cooler, so is Instagram. Um, Twitter is better, except if I follow you on Twitter, know these two Twitter pet peeves that I have. Number one, the overuse of an ellipsis. Do we know what an ellipsis is? Mm -hmm. right. Dot, dot, dot. So it's like, back to work, dot, dot, dot. Lunch break, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> daycare picking up the kids dot 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 it's like oh my god you're stressing me out like is your life one perpetual cliffhanger like, never know what's gonna happen next we might have broccoli for dinner dot 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 I also um, really don't like getting first world problemed do you know what that is have you had that happen to you if you haven't had it happen to you Good job. Uh, this is what it is. It's when you're like, oh, I dropped my phone in the toilet and now I can't use my S's anymore and I have to use like dollar signs or, you know, something like that or anything with technology and somebody's like, oh, first world problems because they're like pissed at you because there's like hungry kids in Africa, which would be a really good point if you weren't tweeting at me right now. Um, from your iPhone. <laughs> so I've been trying to get third world problems. <laughs> um, doing a pretty good job. <laughs> the first one was uh, trampled by a rhinoceros today. Hashtag again. <laughs> also, um, at Woody from Toy Story. Really, who poisoned the water hole? Who? <laughs> And last but not least, uh, shoes come in pairs? You'll get that one later. <laughs> Too far? No. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm Abby the Chew. Uh, before I go, I have to have one plug. My first rap video is coming out. You laugh, but it's not a joke. <laughs> it's coming out December 24th on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter, I'll show you. It's called Talk TV to Me. 90 TV references in four and a half minutes. Me and my friend from Second City will be doing that. Uh, and I have a play in Chicago in February that I'm directing and starring in. Of course, I'd cast myself. Uh, February 23rd and March 2nd, so be there. <laughs> Thank you, Abby Chu. Uh, can I get Adlib up here? I guess. Real quick. And Tim, I guess. And me. <laughs> yeah, and you. Tim. Okay, uh, in case you guys aren't familiar, we do a style of improv which is called long form. We basically are going to tell you a story using our format, which is a tool chest. Um, various calls you'll hear throughout the game, like you'll hear forward, reverse, means whatever was being done has to happen again and again, or inner monologue, um, where a character will step forward, tell you something secretive and most off wise, um, and, and that's how it's going to go. But in order to get there, uh, we're going to pull a little bit from Abby's set. We're also going to take some suggestions from you, because we like to keep it fresh, like you do. Um, so could I get a suggestion of your favorite way to spend a lazy Sunday afternoon? Anybody? Um, going on my computer. <laughs> going on my computer. Okay, uh, could I get your least favorite subject in elementary school? U.S. history. U.S. history. <laughs> and could I get 
Your favorite article of clothing to wear any time of year? Socks. Socks, okay. <laughs> we have going on the computer, US history and socks, as well as everything from Abby to take it away, anybody. Got my own typewriter. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't complimented me on my George Washington hat yet. I love it. Are you here to see the boss? I really like George Washington. I, lo I love your George Washington hat. Do you? Yeah, just let me call the boss and tell him you're no, here. No, no, let's... What do you like about it? <laughs> I like the way it makes you look all like... George Washington? Um, yeah, he, he, like... That's what I was going for. Like, you inspire me. Uh, to write a, a memo. I like your typewriter. Oh my god, that sound is so fun! Oh my god, it's like bones! I, I write it really fast! I'd like to slow down! Would you, would you like to come to my house sometime and see my collection of George Washington bones? Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> that pasta was really nice earlier. Uh, I do not know why I agreed to this. Do you want to touch him? Uh, shouldn't this be like a museum? <laughs> yeah. It should. Go back! Oh, uh, you know, I, um... Maybe I could be convinced to go. I think inevitably you will end up going. <laughs> I, I have a feeling... In my bones, that I will. Are you my girlfriend now? Jesse, the computer won't start. Aha! Uh -huh. I know the answer. The, the do some First world problems! Oh, great. Great. You left the window open. The computer won't start. You now we can't have any problems, and suddenly I'm to blame? It's not the Russians anymore? I'm mad at my neighbors. You know, some people don't have neighbors. Will you excuse me? Yeah, by all means. I'll just fix this computer on my own. By myself. Ow, stop hitting me! What's wrong? Computer broken? God damn it. Yeah, it's broken. It's me, a talking paper clip. Yep. <laughs> this is what I'm pushed to because you won't help me. Let's see what he wants. Don't click in, don't do... You oh, you screwed up now, buddy. <laughs> you clicked it. You, I need help. You need to unplug this. We need to unplug this, like, right now. I have all your pin numbers now. <laughs> Paper Thank clip you. wins. I always forget those. Okay. Uh, I got your G social security number? Jimmy, I can't oh. reach the plug. I can't, I can't turn it off. Finally, oh, I can no. go to the bank. We've gone beyond. Surprise! I got you new socks for your birthday. <laughs> Way better than that surprise I gave you last year. Which... Show me that! <laughs> I'm cheating on you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really... Yeah, like, by default. <laughs> really glad you're cool with all that. So I thought, you know, socks. Yeah. Hey guys, at home. <laughs> hey man. Can I have some socks? Happy birthday, dude. Yeah, it was his idea. You wanna, uh... Yeah, you... Alright. You cool? See you later, man. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Effective immediately, all employees are no longer allowed to go home with customers. <laughs> Beware the man in a George Washington hat. Ping pong! I'm a literal paperclip. Just on your desk. Looks like you're having some trouble. How many martinis have I had? <laughs> Not enough. Oh. I just noticed your E key there was uh, sticking. Um, yeah. Do you want to just click me? I guess touch me? Don't do it. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? I should call the boss. Hey, hey, don't do that. Don't. You don't have to do that. Just click me. But Get a monologue paperclip. <laughs> I'm the devil. 
and we're just trying new strategies. Let's see if it works. Come on. What? What's going to happen if I click you? Wonderful things. <laughs> I'm really, really unhappy with these memos. They're just, they're just getting worse and worse. You're the, the paper clip. Sit down. Thank you. I'm really uncomfortable with how many mentions there are of personal things and, and George Washington and. Satan. I, I'm not. I'm not comfortable with these. I should. I should call the boss. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call the boss. You shouldn't do that. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna call the boss. Good. <laughs> Good. I could. I could write a new memo. You could. You could write a new memo. Bad news, guys. The boss is dead. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> hey, Doug. Are those new socks? Happy birthday to me. Oh, no. Did Cindy give you those? Happy birthday. That's the beginning of the end. Cindy gave me one of them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Rob gave me the other. Rob's living with you now, right? Yep. That must be hard. He's sleeping in my bed. I'm sleeping in the garage. First world problems! God damn, I hate that guy. At least you have a garage. brought in an expert to help us pick the new boss. Um, it was this paperclip, <laughs> um, but he appeared to have died as well. Yeah. What's up? It's me, Stapler. Um, I don't think you should listen to the paperclip oh, anymore. God. What is happening? Who are you talking to? The Stapler! You should probably cut back on those martinis. Uh, I have an emergency. What'd you do? My cigar went out. I, uh, I don't smoke and I have a lighter, I'm sorry. I could send a telegram. <laughs> uh, just... Stapler, get off my patch! No, Here no, we no, go. No, no, no. <laughs> who puts us? I said, where's the guy who had the cigar? <laughs> I think he went to go start it on the furnace. So you talked to them? Well, the paperclip was talking to me. His soul was never supposed to be yours. And the stapler's not talking to the paperclip. Go away, Angel. No, never. Um. Yeah, I think you're drinking too much. Pinch. Um. Okay. Staple. Oh. <laughs> Is this supposed to be meatloaf? No. It, I, I, I asked for meatloaf. I called Stacy and I said, I, I hope Jenny makes meatloaf tonight. <laughs> Come home to this. I'm a mind reader. I just... I Zero world problems, you're not a mind reader. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you sleeping with him? No, what? No. What is this? What? I, I... Will you just... Make me what I want, when I want it. Oh, sorry we missed dinner, but uh, you know, it was a long night, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's okay, I just heated up a piece of broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> and I put it in a bowl of my tears. <laughs> that sounds tasty. Hey, uh, you might need a new bedroom set. Da, da, da. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and, you know, I, I think we are going to need a new dresser, too. Da, da, da. da, da, da. <laughs> 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 
Hey, Jefferson! Yeah? <laughs> you finally got your skull, huh? What do you mean? Oh, hey! <laughs> it's on the floor! Just quit making fun of me! God, I hate these guys. Shut up, Adams! You <laughs> shut up! I think you're so tough being all presidential. I think you're all bully. Just bully. <laughs> Who invented the guy from the 20th century? <laughs> Invited? For, uh, for? The word used to be invented. Four score? Yeah, your starter's still there, uh, Lincoln. Four never score? heard yeah. this one before. Yeah. Never heard this one before. Seven years ago. I know. We used to all get along. Let's hear it. Let's, Let's hear, hear it from the Lincoln. Spanish -American Let's hear the Spanish-American war. Let's hear it again. I, I freed the slaves. Who wrote the, the Constitution? <laughs> I'm not even going to try to eat that. But it's meatloaf. Is today Wednesday? <laughs> did, did they change to Wednesday for some reason? When I woke up, I thought it was Tuesday. Show and me that. that. <laughs> oh, oh, Tuesday pizza day. Go back. And I'm pretty sure on Tuesdays you make me pizza. <laughs> In a monologue, wife. I, I, I got hungry and I ate it. I just cooked whatever is in the back of the freezer. <laughs> How do you like your dress, sweetie? I love it. You're going to win. You're going to get that, that crown tonight, and you show me your walk, honey. No, 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 no. That's... <laughs> I'm going to do a move like this. Hot yeah, baby. Reverse. Yeah, you... Oh, Four works. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, a specimen for winning. Oh. Dreadful. Oh, Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> and son. You smell like gum that doesn't taste very good. Don't talk to them. <laughs> so unrefined. How repulsive. I, I see that you're wearing last year's tuxedo. Nice. You, you, you want to go? I, Look at, look at how fabulous Cynthia does her pirouettes now. Look, look at them. Spin, spin, baby. So my old boss died um, and I was fired. But I think I would make an excellent employee. Not again, not again. Um, now, there are only a few conditions on which I could work. I'm allergic to the smell of my own hair. Tell him he, they used to pay you $100,000 an hour. No, go with the hair. That's better. I, I, my, the, the smell, so I had, I, had to, I had to shave it all off is what happened. <laughs> uh, Show me that. <laughs> um, razor, where are you, Razor? I'll just use the stapler. <laughs> but, but I'm here now. I'm here now. It's too late. It's too late, Razor. It's too There's late. only two shoulders, so. Go back. <laughs> but you don't need to know about that. That's something that, I, that happened in my personal life, which I don't mix up with work. Start flirting with him. Handsome. Change into tie. Tell him it's a handsome tie. Tie you have on today. Handsome tie. You saved yourself. Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Pull that jump rope out of your pocket and jump rope. It. That'll impress him. And give it to him as a gift for his daughter. So I just want you to know <laughs> that of all of the employees at the last job, I was the only one to bring my own typewriter. New choice. Uh, to bring my own relish. New choice. To bring my own um, original artwork that I paint in my spare time. Um, I'm a modern day Picasso. Here, you can give this jump rope to your daughter, <laughs> who I, I know that you have from the picture is on Facebook. Facebook, <laughs> which my mother sent to me. Good. I am perplexed and with baffled. a comment that said, "Sexy." It it screamed. I'm not gonna say that. Good, good. No, good. come on, no, come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on. Listen to her. I, what did you think of her specifically? She 
was a cutie. A cutie in the patootie. <laughs> patootie. She was a cutie patootie. <laughs> patootie is actually her middle name. Weird. Weird. Right? Middle name is weird. Is it Scottish or Scottish? Yes, keep doing that accent. No, no, no. <laughs> keep doing the accent. Do, 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 he loves the accent. Do, do, keep doing it. No. Does Scots His love to golf? From Scotland, Your so. family is from Scotland. <laughs> it's just okay. getting better and better. Just stop talking. Sir, I... I don't know you. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of complaints about that new secretary. Clients on the phone. They're calling back, talking about weird accents, weird names, something about Facebook. Yeah, she um, said my daughter was a cutie patootie. That was the credentials? Hey, I just want to say, we're out of toner for the typewriters. <laughs> okay. I'll... It's a nice cigar. Thanks. Um, I made it myself. Really? Yeah. Uh, you know, I've never seen you in here before. Uh, can I buy you a drink? No, no, uh, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm, 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 Oh my god, you thought I- No, 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 no. Never. I do not never. take charity. I do not take charity. It's not charity. Is it's... it the way I look? The color of my coat, maybe? I mean, it's dirt brown. Yeah, that doesn't mean I can't afford a it's drink, It's literally now. the color- I'm not- I'm not- I will buy my own way through life. Like that cigar? Yeah, but I made it, so I guess I'll make, my, I'll make my I'll make the things that I want. You'll make your way. Want them. Yes, I, if I want a drink, I will take care of it on my own. I am gonna have a drink. There are two drinks worth in that bottle. Share it with me. Can I give you money? No. In exchange for services rendered. You could give me friendship. Give me a cigar. Give me one of your hand I only have one. I made it myself. Well, I made the booze myself. On a lathe. Really? Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> you uh wanted to speak to me on this most holy of pizza nights? <laughs> All right, I ate it. That's what I thought. I'll be at Mom's. I'll be at <laughs> Here's some socks, they said. Need a new dresser, they said. How's it like in the garage, they said. <laughs> They said, they said you might want some bed springs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Forward. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's a cute voice. Inner monologue. She's literally better than anything else in my life right now. <laughs> what you drink in? Um, it's a little mix I call everything that was under the kitchen cabinet. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> oh yeah, for taste. <laughs> Oh, yes, the Drano, that'll add just the right. Go back. Ah. <laughs> How'd you get over there? <laughs> this stuff is fantastic. Right? Yeah. You know what? Forget her. Who? Just forget her. What? what? Hey, man. What are you doing out What is this? What is this? She wandered in. Who is this? She went to, she, uh, one minute I was looking at the floor, the next minute there was, she was in my face. Dot, dot, dot. And. Dude, we feel so betrayed right now. And I'm so in love with her. Betrayed. How and could you do this to us? I'm We gave you socks. In a garage. Sock. In a garage. We gave you socks. We gave you socks. In a garage. 
Oh, it's his garage. It's your garage! <laughs> yes, so, um, as um, an employee, and I am an employee, I thought we should get to know each other better. Um, for instance, I like typewriters. Hey, dude. How's that is so interesting. I just want to have a normal life. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. You can have a normal life if you stop listening to the paper clips. You can have a normal life if you stop listening to paper clips. <laughs> I don't feel I don't like know I have to that means, but... <laughs> okay, honey, show me your dance moves. No, 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 that's not... That's not gonna beat them. That's show them what Daddy showed you. The dance moves that Daddy does. Show me that. Better. <laughs> okay, it's like this. No, that's all wrong. Uh, it's like. <laughs> there you go, honey. Yeah. Oscar winning moment. <laughs> and then you just kind of failing. Just like pretend that. Pretend that you're on a mountain and it's erupting and it's like there's lava on your feet and you're melting into the mountain. Daddy, I feel it. You feel it? I feel it. You feel Daddy. the lava? I was... And you're melting in, you're one with the mountain, and then you're like, you can't move, but you can move because you're dancing. My Go dreams back. have never been so real. That's how you do it, honey! That's how you do it! That's how you win! <laughs> That's my baby. Up on our shoulders! Up on our shoulders! Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this child is really heavy. Oh my god, god. why is this child so oh, heavy? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Did you Fiend! <laughs> <laughs> celebrate murder in my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, to break this up a little bit, we're going to play some short form games which involve a lot more participation on your part. Um, and we're going to start with a game called Dating Game. <gasps> Ooh. And for this, I'm going to need a, an audience volunteer, um, someone who is Single, ready to mingle, preferably a little bit older. <laughs> and able to have, I'm not an, I'm not an ageist. Would you would you like to be in the dating game? No. I think it's a little You think it's a little Okay, we'll we'll hold on for a couple of years and then we'll invite you back. Okay? No, no, no. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody want it? It's really, really easy. I mean, look at look at these people up here. You you, you want to date them? Anybody? Come on. Come on. Oh, see, he's yelling at you. Come on, now you want it. <laughs> Get some of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like? Yeah. To yeah. 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 Could I? Could I? What's your name? I'm Mary. Woo! Okay. Oh, I'm Mary. Yeah. Mary. Um, and at this moment, I'm going to have my lovely assistant, Matt, the beautiful, uh, take Mary out and explain to her the games of the rules. The rules of the games. <laughs> the games of the rules. Uh, while I set up our three, three lovely bachelor, bachelorettes, what have you. So could I have Rachel, Will, and Mike up here. Mike's gonna win. <laughs> okay, um, for this game, these all look like normal people, I'm sure that you can tell. But, He's wearing uh, a beret. That's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> but there are, some, there are some things about them that are a little bit off, and you're going to help me pick them. So, for Will here... Yeah, I love spontaneous clapping. That's nice. Thank you. For Will here, uh, I need you to think of some historical figure, like, preferably someone before the last 20 years. Like, anyone, historical figure. Henry Ford. Henry, Henry Ford. Can you do Henry Ford? Of course I can do Henry Ford. 
okay. Preferences. I can do any character as long as it's black. It's a Henry Ford joke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Mike. Mike is going through some sort of process. Um, he's, he's going through what? <laughs> um, he's going through a process of... The water cycle. The water cycle. <laughs> so precipitation. Okay. Can you, yes. Science. <laughs> um, and, and Rachel has a bad habit or a tick, something that makes it very difficult to live Normally, can I get something like that? Sips her liquids. She like slurps them. <laughs> she wants to turn the Smurfs into gold. Drink gas. What? You drink gasoline. <laughs> You're a huffer. <laughs> Eat. Okay. Um. Cigarette butts. Yeah, I'm ashtray. Okay. 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 <laughs> and she's short. <laughs> oh. Uh, just so that everybody knows, this is Rachel's last show. Please get all of the complaints you can in about her now. Just lay them out. Uh, Rachel, can you eat cigarette butts? Just, just... Why not? Okay, good. Okay, so just to get back on track, this is Henry Ford. He is not a racist in this particular scene. <laughs> this is the water cycle. The water cycle. <laughs> and this lady You're right here, lady, cycle. man, whoever you may be, you continuously eat cigarette butts. Good job. Okay, uh, so we're going to bring Mary back in with a cry of dating, dating, dating on three. Everybody ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Dating, dating, dating. Hello! Can I get your name again? Stephanie. <laughs> Swapping it on me, are you? Well, Stephanie, we have here some very, very lovely people with us, and uh, we're going to give you a chance to go out on a date with them. So, do you have some questions in mind to ask these lovely single people? I do have some questions in mind. Wonderful. I would like to ask... Contestant number uno. I don't. I don't know that word. I see it's one. One. If you were going to make me dinner, what would you prepare? Well, I'd set up a sort of <laughs> process by which I'd probably make spaghetti. So you take. You have one person take the spaghetti. Next person boils the water. The third person is on sauce. The fourth person, Parmesan cheese. Then you simply put the spaghetti into the pot. Oh, you need a fifth person for heating the, bo the boiling water. <laughs> then pouring the sauce on top of it. I left out draining. I don't, I, mm, McDonald's. <laughs> I like the way you incorporate several people into the process. <laughs> well, it's just more efficient that way. <laughs> Prospective dater number two, I have a question for you. Yes. If you were going to make me a gift, what type of gift would you make me? Good question, Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, I would... Do you know what I would make you? What? I would make you steamed broccoli. Yes, and here's why. First, we're going to get some water. We're just going to let it sit there. The water is just sitting. It's collecting. It is collected. And then, and then we're going to put like a, you know one of those things where it folds up, it looks like a spaceship? We're going to put that in the, in the sauce pot where the water is collected. And it's going to heat up, and the steam, it's going to rise. It's going to rise. That steam, it rises, Stephanie. And it sort of becomes like a cloud. You know, a cloud of steam, and then when that steam gets too heavy, it's going to sink back down into the broccoli, and we're going to get broccoli juice. Ooh, broccoli juice is my favorite gift to receive. Thank you, number two. No problem, Stephanie. <laughs> number three. Yeah. If we ever got married, where would we go on our honeymoon? 
<laughs> well, uh, my my parents got a got a cabin in the woods <laughs> next to a lake. It's, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's real nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. I, I just have to protest. You asked each of us different questions that's inefficient. We need standardized questions. <laughs> I like I like your focus on the process. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um contestant number Uno, if you You're doing were this be irritating now? I thought it was our love language. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the which, worst I've ever heard. Which reminds me, what do you consider your love language to be? <laughs> you know, I'm not 100% sure this was an invented when I was alive, but binary. <laughs> see. Thank you. I'm over. Number two. Yes, Stephanie. You're dripping on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, I, sometimes I get emotional when I think about love. And then the water, it comes out of my eyes. And it collects. It collects into my hands, into little pools. And then I go outside and I watch it evaporate. Uh, <laughs> number two. Will you please write a poem about what it is you like the best about me? <laughs> Your eyes are like two shiny watering pools. <laughs> and it makes my heart rise up <laughs> as if I am a fool. -z. <laughs> And when I get lonely, and I come on down, <laughs> you can always get rid of my frown. <laughs> baby, 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 baby. <laughs> Let's live up in the clouds, maybe. <laughs> that was beautiful. I like the baby, baby, baby part because you use repetition. It's called right. repetition in poetry. I, I'm also uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. I feel like I know you so well already. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something about yourself that you wouldn't typically reveal until oh the end of the first half of the. First date. <laughs> well, I don't got lots of money, so uh, probably have to go have these. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I appreciate okay your you. honesty, and I'm not superficial, so. Am I allowed to ask her one question? Uh, unorthodox, but I guess sure. Are you a model? Tea time. <laughs> Stephanie, do you think that you have an idea of who you want to date, or do you need a lightning round? I think I'd like a little lightning round. Just a little lightning round? Yeah, really quick, you know, like a really fast lightning round, almost as fast as like... Versus a slow lightning round. Lightning. Yeah. <laughs> we can do that for you. Please, feel free. I'd like to ask you all the same question. Thank you. If you could uh, describe your ideal mate in one word, what would it be? Efficient. <laughs> Condensation. Ashy. <laughs> Okay, I think I may have made my selection. Excellent, excellent. Uh, would you feel free to let down the other two as gently as you see fit? 
Well, I'm very sorry, contestant number three, but I don't think that I could date someone who shares my addiction for eating cigarettes. <laughs> Thank you, contestant three. And contestant number two, I'm not sure I'm ready to begin a relationship with a cloud or a large body of water or precipitation like wow. rain or the, wa the water cycle. Yeah! <laughs> so I see you've made the choice of contestant number one. I think there was no choice to make, but <laughs> contestant number uno. <laughs> because I have always dreamed of dating a robot. <laughs> so have I. I actually have that a dream. A robot factory <laughs> conveyor belt. Look, the first thing we do in our date is cross a river by... That doesn't work. <laughs> by taking our wagon, uh, trying to get our wagon across it. <laughs> a bridge robot. No, like the Oregon Trail where you take the wagon down through the water and you hope the water's not too high as you try to blank the river. Forge. <laughs> so close. This lovely historical figure. Um, Ford. <laughs> I had Reef Ford. you guys um, in a slightly different style uh, we're going to interview someone um, however in case I hadn't mentioned this already it is the last show of someone here who is really special to us in ad-lib so if you'll pardon me for being a little more unorthodox in this uh, if I could get Rachel up here to... don't look so scared um, gonna interview you ask you some questions <laughs> okay <laughs> and then we're going to possibly embarrass you on stage in this the last show I do it myself so. <laughs> <laughs> okay so Rachel can you tell us about your week oh man it was a doozy um, <laughs> I had two papers due um, and I worked on one for like 10 hours and it was hard and long and <laughs> Sounds hard and long. Yeah, it was about Mark Twain and Huck Finn and stuff. So yeah, I wrote papers mainly this week. Yeah, you're you're an English major. Yeah, I study books. You study books, <laughs> um, and you're you're going you're going away to England, which is why you're leaving, right? Yes. And you're yeah. In case you didn't know, uh, yeah. Rachel got into a really awesome study abroad thing all on her lonesome. So super smart kid, this one. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, so how's packing been going? I haven't started. <laughs> I Wee. don't even have luggage. <laughs> I bought my plane ticket though. <laughs> That's a start. That's a complete yeah. start. I'm very behind on everything else though. Okay. Yes. Rachel, you said you don't have luggage. Do you have baggage? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have that yet. Ooh, man. It's so hard. Well, that's that's good. If you're going if you're going overseas, it's nice to leave with a free conscience and all of that. Yeah. Um, are you looking forward to the food at all? Um, <laughs> honestly, I haven't researched the food at all. I'm a little wary. Um, I've heard some gross stuff about English food, <laughs> but I did find out I get to order food online and then they bring it to me instead of going grocery shopping. So that's fun. I'm excited to do that. Does a robot bring it? No, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Darn. So. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, Who's your favorite member of AdLib? 
Why you gotta do that? Yeah. What? Why you gotta do that? Because I don't want to be picked. You can tell me. You can tell me in my ear without looking to your to your right. Who, who is it? And to the audience, they want to know. Okay. Okay. So Rachel is Rachel's favorite member of Adlib. Didn't see that one coming. Okay. Uh, how many how many siblings do you have, Rachel? I have three older siblings. Three older siblings. So you're the young one. Um, do you have a good relationship with them, with your With family? my brothers, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, you have my sister. So you don't get along with your sister? Not usually. Um, how about your parents? They're okay. <laughs> They're okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and let's see. Do, do you guys have any questions? This is the last chance that anybody gets to ask any questions for her. Because <laughs> well, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's literally ceasing to exist after this. Um, so anything you want to know about a complete stranger? That probably none of you. Yeah, yeah. Did you think you would be going to England at any point in your childhood? Yes. I uh, first heard King Arthur when I was uh, 14, and I got really excited, and I decided I want to be King Arthur. I'm going to England. <laughs> so I'm going to go be King Arthur. <laughs> Mike. Um, do you think you'll get to meet Harry Potter? <laughs> that is a fictitious character. Ooh. King Arthur is not. My yeah. uh, going along the lines of my fictitious character questions, do you think you'll get to meet the Beatles? No, Ringo's still alive, isn't he? What you have questions? Yes, are you going to meet One Direction? Oh. <laughs> Actual live people. Oh, no, no, you Justin Bieber. I, yep. I've, I've never listened to any of their songs. Neither have I. High five. High five. <laughs> Matt Smith? Yes! <laughs> yes! Could you, could you offer some Matt Smith? Isn't he like a who? He's, he's Dr. Doctor who. who. Okay, sorry. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. That's, that's a particular nerd genre that hasn't reached my nerdness yet. So, we will get there at some point. Just questions over here. Um, are there, oh, yeah, you guys behind me. Are you worried at all about Jack the Rippers? <laughs> a little, um, just in case though, I got insurance and they got me, they, give, they gave me a table and it tells me how much each body part is worth. Um, my hands are worth 5000 each and so are my feet, but um, if the whole of me dies, I'm 10000 only. I don't know. No, that doesn't pan out at all. No. Well, uh, Rachel, do you have any recurring nightmares? <laughs> yeah, actually. Would you Anything you care to share? <laughs> I mean, they're quite disturbing if you want to know. I don't know. Okay. I think we want to know. Do you what? guys want to know her? Yeah! 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 Uh, it, it's about cannibalism. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I told you there's a, there's a hand up in the back. Yeah. Uh, so are you going to tell the king that we're tired of taxation without representation? <laughs> no, because I believe in taxation. <laughs> okay. I'm going! And, uh, oh, one more. Are you a feminist? <laughs> are you a feminist? <laughs> no, I'm a feminist. <laughs> uh, and Rachel, could I just ask you one last question? What's your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Oh, that's easy. French toast. With... With syrup and coffee and hash browns. But, yeah, where are you going to England? Don't they have like sausages and beans and things? I don't know. <laughs> it's, I just want to meet King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, King Arthur, thank you very much for your participation in this. Can I have a round of applause for Rachel? And with that, the long war begins. Sup? So. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Uh, I've been looking through your rates, and it looks like we're going to be able to drop your premiums on Ripper insurance this year. Oh. But, but, we're not going to be able to cover you under Sasquatch insurance anymore. <laughs> it's just, you've had too many sightings, you're just not a good risk anymore. You know, 
Louis Armstrong was a revolutionary trumpet player. I've just been reading up on him. Uh, someday I'm going to be Louis Armstrong. <laughs> and I'm going to move to the South, and I'm going to be that man. <laughs> well, and when you do, we'll be happy to insure you against trumpet gnomes. Thank you. That would be that. Or Should I, do I have to get that before I move? Because isn't it... You really don't want it to be a pre-existing condition. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! I brought I brought you some uh, groceries. Oh, Papa, I opened the door. Thank you. Oh, uh. Did you bring the biscuits? Oi, the name's oh King I, Arthur. I brought you the groceries. Oi, oh, <laughs> King Arthur, save me! <laughs> no problem, baby. I just. I'm sorry. I just I'm want, I was just being all British for you to stop the robots. <laughs> you are my idol. I hope you know too. Your groceries, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> would you care to stay for dinner? A spot of tea would be lovely. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how to make it, but I'll wing it. I'll, I'll, I'll wing it. I'm British. How about I'd make it for you? Where's the kitchen? over here. Okay, great. Do you know how to operate you, the electronics? Do you have a kettle? No. Oh, that's okay, I brought my own. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how's Guinevere these days? Oh man, she cheated on me with Sir Lancelot. Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. All oh, my knights of the round table have shown up to see my lovely wife. Uh, Every single making, one of them. Night, making I, naked kisses with my best I, mate. I'm really sorry. Me. I apologize. She's just so pretty. <laughs> so naked. And so naked all the time. Why would you do that, man? Oh, I'm gonna have to You're banish you to so naked. Now. What else was I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> so sorry. I Boy. hope this doesn't lead to the sundering of your table. Go back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now I'm just uh, a gross grocery delivery man. Mm, that's kind of I also a, a make bump. also make tea for pretty American ladies. <laughs> Whoa, man! So glad we survived that that crazy airplane accident on this deserted island. Show me that. <laughs> Ah! I died! Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, man, that was that was intense. <laughs> Poor Jerry. <laughs> no, man. I, of course we survived it. I keep telling you guys, Harry Potter's real, and I am him. Yeah, not okay. fictitious. Not fi yeah. Okay. Not fictitious. So the sun has gotten to. I just really didn't like him, so <laughs> you, I didn't save him. You didn't save him on purpose. Well, I I had to pick. I you, I'm not that strong, guys. You, you killed Jerry. I'm really weak. I you killed Jerry. Are you are you hearing this? I, yeah. I didn't Jerry, kill, I, how could you? I just how could you kill Jerry? <laughs> how this could you? This is our you? side of the island now. They're toe in the sand. <laughs> you were the one who said alliances. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this baguette has been stuck in this rock for 20,000 years. Who can pull the baguette out of the rock? Who would like to lie? Oh, we got one. Try to pull it out. Please don't break it in half. I'm next. I'm next. Oh, you couldn't do it. Get out of here. You suck. Stupid. Now you make him try. Can he do it? Nope, he can't get out. Get out of here. You waste I'm money. just about to take a lift Ooh, to the biscuit shop. Look at this guy. He's a big one. Are you taking the Mickey? Yes. Oh. I Pip on a bobbin. Pippin it in. Oh! Bob's my uncle. Oh, you did. Get out. Who can Ooh, look at this weakling little Bobby. Ooh. <laughs> um, 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 but hi, here's my resume. I pulled a sword Ooh. out of a stone once. Ooh, well this ain't no sword, idiot. It's a baguette. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> that's crunchy French bread. <laughs> I'm French. <laughs> Oi, uh, my hat is from French. Look, I get paid by the hour, so can we... Oh. Accio oh. baguette! Oh. 
like that strange little boy took your bag, eh? <laughs> Are you actually pacing, or are you just mocking my pacing? Both. <laughs> it's not funny, guys. This is a big problem. Yeah, I know. That's why we put the sign. France is out here. France is out of bread. I need to think. Can we? <sighs> okay, okay. You can pace without following me. I've never learned. <laughs> <laughs> I've already imprinted on you. <laughs> Mommy? This, is, God, this is what happens when you take businessmen out of their nests. <laughs> Show <Okay>. me that! <laughs> oh. Stocks? Stocks? The CEO, that CEO is dead. Stocks? Bonds? Synergy? Bonds? Stocks? Come on. Vertical integration? Come on, come on, come on. Mr. Bosley? No. Dilbert? Go back! <laughs> okay, we're gonna pace slowly while we think about what to do about the bread crisis. I just want to make you happy. Then, I, I just really like French toast and baguettes. Those are all Some, foreign words, I don't know what they mean. Uh, Sinner. Honey, you're gonna have to teach them to fly someday. They can't just keep following you around. I know. I'm... Oh, I thought you put the rails up! <laughs> it's just... They gotta start their own businesses. I know, it's just... What with your barren womb? I thought I'd never be a father. I'm sorry, I said I'd stop bringing that up constantly. Inner monologue, lady? <laughs> I've been on birth control for 14 years. <laughs> Oi, so then I was all like, Guinevere, how can you do this to me? And so I uh, sent uh, Lancelot, I banished him to France, and I, uh, it was a bit, it's a bit confusing, but I think I mended things with Guinevere, but then my son killed me, Modred. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> Modred! More like Mo kill your father! <laughs> Tell me about yourself, um, milady. <laughs> How are you alive still? I don't oh, know. Harry Potter. So you think you can just have Arthur? You think you can take him from his Guinevere? Hey man, I, I got something back in the States. I don't, I'm not into this. What? <laughs> I saw you two over tea. He delivered my groceries. So you think you can just take Guinevere from me? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Okay, guys, I, I flew to England and I brought us a baguette. Can I please come over to your side now? You're towing the line. I, 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 no, you're literally I've, towing the line. I've got you, food. You're towing it. Tell, Tell her. her. Guys, I'll, I'll let you ride my broom. I thought that they didn't have any more baguettes in France. I didn't go to France, I went to England. They have baguettes in England. It was in a stone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess. I guess we can draw the line a little bit more yeah, over on our side. I guess we can draw the line a so little bit oh, you can, so you can. But you know, after but you know after I, Jamie. After Are you just coughing? What? No, I'm your best friend. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brett, did you bring like butter and stuff? Oh. Hey. Oh. We're it's the, the others. We're the others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while well, you were gone. Did, HA! <laughs> gotcha! Others! High five! Woo! I didn't, Woo! I didn't do this. I didn't... You I just didn't. been punked! <laughs> is that magic? Is that, is that what you... I am Snipe. <laughs> My name is Stabarus Snipe. I've been here on the island this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confident that will be explained. 
<laughs> Arthur, son of Uther. That, that was that was me, Dad. He was all like, "You're my boy, and I love you." And I was all like, "I love you too, Dad. Let's have a catch." <laughs> <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm going to be the king of England. Or I'm going to get a wizard named Merlin. Copac! <laughs> Tis I, the Merlin! Ah! Merlin, I told my pop about you. <laughs> I said, I said, I'm going to get with, I'm going to be king of England and then I'm going to go to Berlin. Look, it's nice of you to bring your groceries, but not really. Who is the wench? <laughs> She's this nice lady I brought groceries to, then we have spot tea. I've got a paper to write. I'm thinking about that. Arthur, the new king of England, Harry Potter, challenges your rule. Oh, <laughs> just, just get out. Get, get Bollocks. Out. Get I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Get, get out. Hey, do not touch the Merlin! It's Bloody hell! Oh. Turn you. Shoo. Shoo. I'm thinking about making her the new queen. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Truce, Harry. Truce. Yeah, Harry, truce. No, I told. Yeah, truce, Harry. <laughs> Harry, could you, could you just give me a second, Harry? <laughs> Harry, you're okay. just going to take that from them. I like you a lot. I don't even like you're you. Nice. I don't like you either, but... I need you to stay on that side of the island. I'm on your side, I guess. For a really long time. <laughs> I can't cross the line. Just, yes, you can. That's you're a wizard. I need, oh, I need I you forgot. to stay on that side of the island. I, I will Harry. stay on... That's kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm Snake. I'm snake. Okay. <laughs> you stay, you stay with Snake. We're gonna kill Harry. Okay, okay, we're cool. just, we're just, cool. as long as we're just, go! Kill, we're just, gonna, just go. How do you want to do it? Oh. A gun? Do you have a gun? <laughs> I, yeah, a gun. So, oh, sweet. I hear Let's shoot him in the that face. you can get off the island with your brother. Oh, Harry. Yeah, that's Harry. how I got the baguette. Harry, Harry Potter. Harry. Harry. Harry Potter. <laughs> I right. challenge you to do for the Throne of England. Do they just yell your name out everywhere? Like I hear Harry every single second. <laughs> Bang. <Ooh>. Steps. <laughs> Mel, you've been my dry cleaner for thirty years now. Yes, yeah, Al. So? Just a couple more weeks and they'll be gone. You know, this is starting to interfere with my press shirts. Guys, guys, go synergize, go synergize. Make profit. Go make profit outside. <laughs> Look, it's okay. I, I know. Just I got, get rid of them. I am or sorry. I am going to leave. I'm sorry we, they got all those quarterly report stains on those shirts. <laughs> it's my favorite shirt. It's a nice shirt. There was Look, reports all over. No, the shirt looks really good on you. It looks so good on you. Is this time crimes? It's fine. Oh my god. Oh. Hi. Hi. Two more? You got some bread? Do you have any bread? You got bread? bread? These are yours. These more are your bread. <laughs> and then Stellar Snake, he shot me in the face. <laughs> So that is that was how and I And you did. still didn't die. Yeah, don't don't can't explain that one either. <laughs> um Man. Yeah, I mean it's cool to meet you, but you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> um, Arthur. <clears throat> yes, milady. Uh, it's it's Barbara. Barbara. Thank you. Ba ba um, ba 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 <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, I I wanted to call you in here. I've been looking over your hourly reports for delivery schedule. Yes. And you I spent... deliver I deliver the groceries to Rachel. <laughs> yes. Um, you've spent a lot of time there. In fact, you haven't delivered groceries to any of the other fourteen people that you have, and they've called me. Very angry about having no groceries. Does chivalry mean nothing to you? <laughs> All right, Arthur. Uh, just looking over your insurance rates, so you are <laughs> impervious to 
Gunfire, mm -hmm. swords. Mm -hmm. I killed several Jack the Rippers. Show me that. <laughs> Get him, guys! Together, the Jack the Rippers will take him down! No! Oh, no! Go back! <laughs> Rippers, cannibals, boy wizards. Um. Oh yeah, my track record with boy wizards is not that great because I can't kill them, but they also they can't kill me. So you're still you're not impervious to them. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna offer you, I can offer you some very low premiums. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful because I was just fired from my job at the the robot grocery delivery service. That's a business? Yeah, they the the robots they deliver groceries to Americans. Wait, are you a robot? We don't insure no, robots. No, I'm not a robot. That it was I got lucky because I seduced I seduced the woman who hired me. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Oh, baby. Um. I'm, I'm, I'm really uncomfortable with you. I know I'm not a robot. I'm an old man. Oh, and Arthur, is this your new Gwen? Is this your new Gwen Avir? My is this your new Gwen Avir? My name is Barbara. Gwen Avir. Bar Bar you come over beep, to the beep, back closet beep, with beep, me. Beep. Barbara, no! Oh, Gwen Avir, Gwen Avir, uh, I, I forgot your money. I kill Barbara! <laughs> I guess it's just you and me. You want to go find I left your money in the closet? Sweet. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Guys. Guys. <laughs> I got you guys a business loan. Ooh. Um, <laughs> for a little farm. Hmm. I'm scared I'm gonna fall. No, you. Go! Go! Manage it! Manage it! Go! Go! See! Okay, we are going to wrap up tonight with a little game called Objection because we are generally negative people. We like saying no, we like telling others that we're wrong. Um, so if I can have everybody up here really quick for a game of objection. Uh, <laughs> well born! Accio door. Uh, <laughs> for those of you out there who don't know how objection works, everybody here is going to be telling a story. <laughs> they really I, give them a lot of time. <laughs> yes, they do. Them? Uh, them? <laughs> the people in wheelchairs, using the wheelchair door. Stop. Yes. <laughs> Not Henry Ford no more. Uh, <laughs> for those who don't know how objection works, everybody's going to be telling a story um, based on a suggestion that I get from you guys. Everybody has a different story that they're going to be going through, and you know, that sounds super fun and dandy, but we play it a little special. Uh, <coughs> if they hear anything wrong with something that's being said, they can go, OBJECTION! Uh, and they then say what their objection is, and then it's up to you guys to be like, YEAH! THAT'S yeah. A GOOD OBJECTION! YEAH! yeah. Or, hey, yeah. this guy. Yeah, yeah. you guys, loud. Yeah. 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 yeah! And if you're yeah. like, actually, that's kind of a crappy objection and that doesn't make any sense, you're like, no. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Um, and this is a little added spice on top of this. There's a three minute time limit, so whoever is up here telling their story at the last minute wins the game, wins the show, wins adoration from anyone in the audience who's willing to give it and sign it over in contractual form. <laughs> so, if I could get a suggestion from the audience of um, your favorite game to play uh, as a child. Shoots and Ladders. Shoots Don't wake Danny. and oh. <laughs> <Shoots> Ladders. The old man's fun goal. I never played Shoots and Ladders when I was a kid. We played Snakes and Ladders uh, because we wanted to learn about zoology. Objection! Knock off! <laughs> So I, I really hate ladders. I, it's, it's a horrifying, terrifying ordeal for me to get up on a ladder. And <laughs> Come on, man. Anybody jump out? Do it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I don't have a story about a ladder, but that's my brother, so I'll tell you a little bit about my brother. His name's Dan. Objection! It's my last show. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> so the best game to play as a kid was Mousetrap. It took about a half hour to set up, and the payoff was about 10 minutes of fun. What you had to do, you had to, there was this huge instruction sheet, and all the intricate parts you had to set up, and then there was like a ball, and it, it triggered stuff. Objection! <laughs> Balls don't do this! Yeah. Okay, so he's a sophomore here. He, um... Objection completely irrelevant to future matters. <laughs> um, so, I have a twin brother. I object to that beret. <laughs> So anyway, uh, when, when I moved into like my childhood home from Florida, it kind of came with this giant barn, and it came with uh, an 80 foot extension ladder, which was made of wood and was probably 80 years old. And we lent it to some friends of ours who used the entire length of it, and he was up on the top, and the top two rungs just snapped underneath him, and he popped. Objection! This is an episode of The Three Stooges. Nope. And it's, it's Objection! Huh. I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the objective is to get the cheese, and when you roll, uh, I forget how it happens, but... Objection! Then why are you telling the story? <laughs> yeah. The thing about snakes is they're slithery. Did you know that? I didn't know that. And, they, and I think it's why I'm so scared of snakes now. Objection! I, Digression! <laughs> so, my brother, my, was that booed? Okay. Are you guys saying boo or boo earns? <laughs> so my Objection, my, I remember. I just want to talk! <laughs> No, I'm Oh man, that kid is hurting my feet. 30 seconds! Okay, so you move and there's like a guy in a basket and one thing happens after another, it's like a Rube Goldberg thing and then the objection is objection. Objection, objection! <laughs> objection, she said objection! <laughs> the objective is to trap the mouse! Objection, she's hogging the stage! <laughs> Objection! Move! Objection! Objection! Who is on stage? I won. We here at AdLib all like to be winners. <laughs> so thank you for watching our show. Uh, we've been Ad Liberation. I am Shanna and Mike. I am Tim. Mike. Uh, he wasn't done. I'm, I'm it Mike. took a long time to I say I did. I stuttered. I'm Tim. <laughs> I'm Will. Oh. I'm Joe. Matt. Katie. Rachel. I already said it. <laughs> Will. I'm Tim. Awesome. Uh, you can find us at www.adliberation.net. We've got the Facebooks. We've got the Twitters. Sometimes we tweet. Sometimes we don't. Um, also, if you liked what you saw here, uh, we are having auditions in January. Uh, the 26th. And the 26th and the 28th. Um, there will be posters up in case you forget. I forget. It's okay. I just forgot. Um, so if you <laughs> feel like you can jump up here and do as good as us, if not better, by all means, show up. Uh, it'll be somewhere in Buring. You'll see posters. Um, and we also, outside, have a mailing list. If you want to keep up to date on like shows and when we're having those auditions, when other troops are having shows, by all means, sign up for it. Uh, because, in fact, at this moment, the Crazy Monkeys are in Matthews 210 about to start another show. So if you're in the mood for more comedy, by all means, join our friends Crazy Monkeys at Matthew 210 right now. Um, and I would like to thank Abby Chu for introducing us. Again, by all means, check out her YouTube wrap in December and uh, her awesome directing debut in February. When was that? When was that? Uh, when was that? That was February 23rd, March 2nd. Yeah, so by all means, get at her. She's funny as hell. Um, and we have been at Liberation. Thank you so much for your participation and for that story. <laughs>